I had a house and all this other stuff and I don't miss any of it. I get rid of everything and I'm so happy now I'm the exact opposite. It's just having the least amount of things needed. There's something so special about Thailand. This is a place where people, they either find themselves or they rediscover themselves. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. So I am just on my way to Fortune Town now for a bit of a skate. It's hot today. Between the heat, <laughs> between the heat and the sidewalks, Bangkok's not the best city for skating. What? The, the skate park's been demolished? Oh my god. So I normally get a kick out of when things don't go to plan for my videos because then I get to sort of be creative and try and find a way to turn around but I really wanted to skate today. Ooh. Maybe I still can. Well, there you go. Take away your skate park, you can just make your own. Oh, I wish I could meet the people that are dismantling all this. Like, if I could have this and the pole, I'd stick them on the roof of my building. I wouldn't even need to go to a skate park. So close. Oh man, I'm so glad I've taken up skating again. I am having so much fun with this. I think I'm enjoying it more than I ever did, you know, more than I did when I was a teenager. You know, I'm not, like I'm just doing this essentially for me now. I'm not trying to be the best person at the skate park or outdo my mates or try and keep up with my mates. It's just all about the progression for me. And I'm really enjoying the experience of getting better each time I skate. I love action sports, as you know. I'd ideally be riding my dirt bike every day if I could, but living in Bangkok, that's just not an option. <laughs> way too hot here to ride anyway and living in this city just really limits your options for what you can do but skating is great and I've, I'm so glad I just I stumbled across a skateboard one day on Lazada and bought it for fun and then I'm so glad I bought it it's literally like changed the way I live All I need is you, baby, baby. Thailand is such a special place. This is a place where people, you know, they find themselves, they rediscover themselves, they can reinvent their life. You can make massive changes and come here. People come here after getting divorced and find love again and find their youth again and, you know, get to really enjoy the things they want to enjoy. You can be 70 years old here going to a nightclub and it's not weird. You're not going to be made fun of. You're not even going to be the only one there doing it. People come here heartbroken after divorce and think their life is down in the dumps and they can come here and just totally reinvent themselves and basically get a second chance at life. For me, Thailand is where I found myself. I came here 12 years ago on a holiday and fell in love with the place, fell in love with Asia, fell in love with just, you know, you start to see there's a whole different side of the world. Learning about new culture is fascinating. The food, I mean, I don't even need to talk about the food here. The food is so ridiculously good. But that basically kickstarted my love for travel and my journeys through Asia. I've now done close to 50 trips. I'm very fortunate to be able to call this place home now, which is amazing. But I do honestly believe my first trip here coming to Thailand that just opened up my eyes to the world and to travel. It, honestly, it changed my life forever. Yeah, that's the first time I ever got that trick. 
Wasn't great, but I'll get there. Today's going well. I've landed two new tricks that I hadn't landed before. I'm doing this very, uh, very cautiously. You know, I'm not trying to, not trying to set the world on fire. I just want to become like a better skater. I just, I honestly, I have so much fun every time I do something like this. You know, I love that adrenaline feeling. And people said to me, you know, be careful. You might hurt yourself. And if I hurt myself or if I break any bones, like, I'm cool with that. Sometimes it's just the price you have to pay to do these sports. I've got insurance. I'm all good. I check my policy to make sure it would cover me in this. And yeah, I mean, if it happens, it happens. You can't be skating and thinking about that. I'm very grateful to be able to have all this free time to be able to do things like this. And I really want to make the most of it. Ah, uh, yep. For anyone wondering, my voodoo rain dance still works a treat. <laughs> That's all right. Lunchtime. Man. Hungry? I'm hungry, man. What are you, you're on a health kick, right? So we've come around to a pizza place. What's this place called? Cool. Pizza right. Montana. Pizza what? Pizza what? Hey? Pizza Parlor. I, I come here enough <laughs> times, they should know, yeah. I'm doing a great job of explaining this. Pizza Parlor is just on Sukumit Road near the BTS station at our store. And this comes highly recommended from Serge, who's supposed to be on a health kick at the moment. And I'm taking a break. I'm ratting you out to your audience. <laughs> but this looks amazing. All right, so this is my mate Serge. Cheers. Cheers. The Serge is from the US and moved out here to Thailand nearly a year now, right? No, it's been barely six months. Really? Yeah. Okay. It'll be six months. Yeah. It's longer than that. No, six months, man. Alright. Do you want to share a little bit about your story? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, I lived in the US for 41 years, moved uh, there from Russia when I was nine years old. And I just kind of got this illusion. I was in law enforcement for 12 years, did all sorts of sales, marketing, and then got retired out for injuries from law enforcement. And during the pandemic, I just decided how much I love Thailand the one time I came here. And I decided yeah. that, you know, I'm going to move here, sold everything, did a little bit of traveling through the U.S. And decided uh, I'm going to come here and start a YouTube channel. I already had a channel, but I wasn't doing anything with it. So came here with two suitcases and now I'm making videos and I love my new life. New life, yeah. Absolutely. Did you get that feeling when I sold all my stuff um, and to move over here? And, and I put everything into two suitcases, basically. I felt this like total weight off my shoulders, like... Absolutely. I've, yeah. you know, I, I had a house and all this other stuff and I don't miss any of it. I get rid of everything and I'm so happy now I'm the exact opposite. It's just having the least amount of things needed. Yeah. So when was your first time here? So the first time I came to Thailand was in 2012. I came here on vacation with my girlfriend and I instantly fell in love with it. She hated it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, eventually we parted ways for other reasons, but it was just always in the back of my mind. And uh, yeah, it does something, right? Like when I, 100%. when I came here my first time, I was just like, when I got back home, I was like, how do I get to Thailand? Like, I want to live there. Yeah, I get over here, basically. Absolutely. And I, I think it's, you know, I, I did this when I was uh, 51 years old. And I think you're never too old to do it. People are like, oh, you should have done it sooner, whatever. Yeah. The best time to do anything is now. Yeah, absolutely. Don't waste, yeah. procrastinate. Things will never be perfect. But I think just action beats planning any day of the week. 100%. Yeah. Cheers, man.